Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Troy, your personal Mandarin tutor. This time, I'm going to introduce the second Dongwen Zui string called A O E A. However, before today's lesson start, I'll disclose the answer to the last video's homework and wish you had done it yesterday. Then, let's look at the first Mandarin words of the assignment, whose pronunciation is P. Are you correct? If not, don't be discouraged and repeat after me. This word called P, and the meaning is a quadruple of horses or clothes, such as 一匹马 or 一匹布 Honestly, you might feel confused about the latter's pronunciation since it's different from the previous. For the reasons, it was because of the breaking sound word effect, which is similar to the differences between read and write in English. As for the details, that's a story for another video. Next, this word's pronunciation is xi, whose meaning is the west. This word's pronunciation is ti, whose meaning is the kick. This word's pronunciation is d, whose meaning is a liquid drop, such as d string. This word's pronunciation is j, whose meaning is the chicken. This word's pronunciation is f, whose meaning is to cover the bandage or cloth on the wound, such as f yao. This word's pronunciation is d, whose meaning is supervising, such as tian du. This word's pronunciation is "ku,"、cool, whose meaning is "crying." This word's pronunciation is "wu,"、cool, whose meaning is to exhale the gas, such as "wu qi." This word's pronunciation is "su,"、cool, whose meaning is a Mandarin first name. This word's pronunciation is "ju,"、cool, whose meaning is to snipe, such as "ju ji." This word's pronunciation is "chu," whose meaning is the exhibition, such as "xin yi chu." This word's pronunciation is "xu," whose meaning is "shu," which is a word that somebody wants someone to be quiet. And this word's pronunciation is "yu," whose meaning is "sealed," such as "yu ji." Now, finally, let's move on to today's lesson. A O E A. First is A, which is similar to the vowel A that is A. And the upper zooming that we combine with it is ba pa ma fa da da na la ge ke he zhi chi shi and zi ci ci. Then the pronunciation of the compound words are ba pa ma fa da da na la. Ga ka ha, cha cha sha, ra, and za za za. However, a could also combine with the downward zooming e and o, which pronunciation is ya and wa. Especially to e, a could cooperate with it and combine with the upward zooming g, t, c. Then the pronunciation of the common words will be cha. Cha and xia. The second is o, which is similar to the vowel o that is o. And the upper zooming that combined with it is a, p, m, and f. Then the pronunciation of the common word is bo, p, m, and f. In effect, there are a little bit details that should be noticed, which is when o encounters b or p. The compound word's pronunciation should have a sound from u, like a. O could also combine with the downward zooming, e and u, which pronunciation is yo and wo. Especially to u, o could cooperate with it and combine with the upward zooming, the t n l k k h z c s h r and the z z z. Then the pronunciation of the common words will be duo tuo nuo nuo guo guo huo zuo zuo shuo ro and zuo zuo shuo. The third is a, 
which is similar to the vowel e plus consonant r, but have a softer sound that is uh. And the upper zooming that could combine with it is ma da ta na la ga ka he zhi chi shi ri zi ci and the si. Then the pronunciation of the Kanban word is ma da ta na la ga ka he zhi ci shi ri zi ci and the si. Last but not least is a, which is similar to the vowel a plus e, that is a. And the upper zooming that could combine with it is none of them. Since a is a unique number zooming that could only cooperate with e or u to combine with the upper zooming, then the upper zoomings that could combine with e, a, r, b, p, m, d, t, n, l, and the g, g, x. The pronunciation of the Kanban word is b, p, m, t, t, n, l, and g, g, and x. Then the upper zooming that could combine with u, v, r, z, z, x, r. And pronunciation of the Kanban word is j, j, x, and r. All right, that's all for today's lesson. If this video has spurred your interest in learning Mandarin, why not watch the following videos and click the subscribe button to catch up on my latest videos. I'm Troy. See ya.